Hello guys, Neopal Times here, welcome to a new video and as many of you know, and if you don't know, I'm telling you now I bought a 16 inch MacBook Pro, you can see the unboxing and review somewhere here and yeah, what does that mean? That coming from a 2012 uh, MacBook Pro, I need a lot of USB-C dongles and this video is just about one of those this is the USB-C to SD card adapter Okay, so this here is very, very, very basic um, for photographers, videographers, etc. Uh, this was actually one of the ones that I was going to need the most and I got it for real cheap. It was almost 50% 50, uh, 50 off. So instead of 45 euro, I got it for 25. So not too bad. And yeah, we're just going to proceed to unbox it and it's pretty straightforward. We just open here, slide out, and boom, here it is. Why is it dirty? That's weird. But anyway, uh, we just pull here, pull there, and boom. So on this side we have the USB-C that will connect to the Mac. Here the SD card reader to connect the SD card. And as I said, this is very useful for photographers and videographers and pretty much anyone who uses a camera with SD cards because some cameras now are bringing some other types of uh, formats but yeah, we're gonna try it on the Mac and see how it works so what we need to do is very simple first we take the adapter itself and connect it to the Mac of course to one of the USB-C ports and then we take an SD card and plug it right in it goes all the way in, like almost completely and then it will appear here on the desktop and if not we can go to the finder and here of course we will see all the content and we can do as usual just copy it to whatever folder we want or anything and then if you want to eject it you cannot pull it out or you shouldn't uh, what you have to do is click this little arrow button and then it's like software ejected and then you can pull it out either the SD card by itself or the whole assembly with the adapter but yeah I'm not sure if you should do this, but I usually tend to leave the SD card in the adapter and then carry it like that to my room or whatever. But yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> so forget this that I just told you. But yeah, that's everything for the working as you So it's very, very simple. So now let's go ahead and finish the video. Okay, so this was the unboxing and review of the USB-C to SD card adapter from Apple. And yeah, as you saw, it's very simple mechanism, you just plug one thing and plug the other and then it works. And yeah, now for the final verdict. I have seen in Apple's website that this only supports speeds of up to UHS-2, which is pretty new standard, but not the newest. Uh, for example, I have a, an SD card which is UHD-3, which means that I'm not going to be able to get the full speed from transfer speed from that one. Yeah, what you should probably do is check the speed of your SD cards. If you look at your SD cards, there are plenty of drawings. And this one is the UHD3. And yeah, if you don't have it, then you're good to go. And yeah, other than that, this retails for 45 euro, as I said. Usually, I got it cheaper, uh, considerably cheaper, but it retails for 45 euro, which is a hefty price to pay. Uh, should you buy this? Hmm, probably not, uh, even though you know I love Apple, but this is like just way too much money to pay for one single adapter. For that money you can get like a really good adapter, which has like USB-C ports and two or three USB, like USB-A and SD card and micro SD and HDMI and VGA, like all the ports you may need for pretty much that money. However, uh, I have a friend who bought that one of those for pretty much that price. And for example, he does not get the full speed of the USB-C port, which I'm guessing it's the same for all the other uh, ports. In general, for example, the HDMI may not be able to stream at very high speeds, or the, the USB-A's maybe, or even the SD card might be even lower specification than this one. So yeah, in general, it's a quality product. I mean, the fact that this doesn't support the latest uh, as the uh, standard, it's not a huge tragedy. Uh, like, if you buy an SD card right now, it's most likely that it will have that standard. But if you have all the SD cards, it's 100% that they won't. 
and also they can be uh, updating the adapters because for example the the HDMI adapter they updated it not too long ago for some faster speeds so even though it looks the same it's actually newer so yeah that um, they can also do it with this right now so in the future I guess that if UAHS5 or whatever comes out they can update it but yeah Overall, if you think you <laughs> if you think you want it, just buy it. If you see a good offer, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. It's also plastic, which is cool because it doesn't scratch your Mac because it's a softer material. So yeah, overall, I'm actually happy with my hole, and yeah, it's just dangle life now that I have a USB-C MacBook. But yeah, that's everything that I wanted to show you today. Thank you very much for watching and as usual if you have any questions related to the adapter leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer. Also don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and join my Telegram channel if you wanna stay in touch with me and share the latest Apple news or whatever. And yeah if you subscribe you will be seeing all my new videos when they come up. Remember that they come every week, I try to upload twice a week but at the very least once a week you will have a video. And yeah. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.